a record-breaking performance by Nathan Chen in the men's short program as the U.S. figure skating star scores the highest total ever in the event. Round one goes to Canada. The U.S. women's hockey team fell to Canada in what many expect to be a preview of next week's gold medal game. Dutch speed skater Arain Voost glided into the record books by winning the 1500 meters and becoming the first athlete to win gold at five different summer or winter games. A crash-filled start to women's luge knocked many medal hopefuls out of contention, including Americans Summer Britcher and Emily Sweeney. The first gold medal awarded in women's freestyle skiing Big Air went to U.S.-born Eileen Gu, who's competing for China. You know, Chris, there's a, it's that, quite a few differences, especially when it comes to ski racing. You know, you, you, you look at the snow here at Copper, as you mentioned, we've got a lot of natural snow at this point of the year up there on that hill. Nice, fluffy Colorado natural snow. In China, it's the first time that they haven't had an Olympics where it's all man-made snow, 100%. So nothing like this snow here in Colorado. And so it's got a higher concentration of ice to air. And that higher concentration obviously creates a harder packed snow, an icier snow, a snow that's more difficult even for those sharp edges that they're putting on those skis to cut into. And so that's why we're seeing so many athletes struggle. Like Michaela did five gates into her race and she just had one little slip on that snow edged on out of that course. And we've seen that from a lot of really, really consistently strong skiers. And it's something that maybe they would be used to earlier in the season because they come here to Copper and the downhill course that they train on is all man-made snow and then eventually it gets covered with natural snow but they've been racing over in Europe natural snow has been kind of covering those courses and so it's throwing them off Michaela said it best it's not an excuse because they're professionals and they should be able to adapt to it but it is something that's happening and it's causing some problems in Beijing right now You know that, yeah, that's, I mean, that, and that is probably a pretty good excuse. You know, these ski racers, they're used to certain courses. They pretty much race on the same courses all the time in Europe. They know them, aside from variations in the course design and the course setup for that season, they know where the pitches are, they know where the turns are, they know what that snow feels like. Because of the pandemic, a number of test events were canceled leading up to these games. All the Alpine ski racing test events were canceled in Beijing. So these racers never got to look at that course until days before they got to the Olympics. And then they were looking at a course that Michaela Schifrin said is the steepest course she's ever skied on. Uh, a lot of the US men's team said it reminds them of Birds of Prey. So this is a challenging course, a technical course, an aggressive course that they haven't had a chance to look at yet or ski yet right before one of the biggest events of their career. And so, yeah, that is a big factor. I mean, you mentioned it. Our, our athletes, our US ski team, they come here to Copper, they, they train on this snow, they train on these hills uh, the snowboarders drop into that pipe right over there and so they're used to these areas this is the first time they're seeing it and so that's gonna some racers are gonna slow down they're gonna be more timid and then others are still gonna be aggressive because it's the Olympics and get caught off guard
Yeah, you bet. I'll do a run for you, Chris, and then come on up tomorrow morning. Let's hit. Chloe Kim and Sean White both kick off their gold medal defense as men's and women's snowboard half-pipe qualifying gets underway. Plus, after getting disqualified from the giant slalom, Michaela Schifrin is back in action as she looks to bounce back and land on the podium in women's slalom. And on the ice, Joey Mantia seeks Team USA's first speed skating medal of the 2022 games. But he'll face a difficult field of competitors in the men's 1500 meter event. Also, a trio of Americans will face off with medals on the line in the men's freestyle skiing Big Air Final. And the first curling medals of the Winter Games are up for grabs as Italy faces Norway in the mixed doubles gold medal game. 